Big wins that they got during stage one against Crew, against G2. Those were powered by Aspas dropping nukes on their opponent. Cement the lead. Crosshair placement is almost perfect! And the micro adjustment. Where you see King make sure that he plays a star player directly into the fray. The fight taken on one out once more. Already the front side is going to be there. So now the play does need to be made. Bustio might have been considering. He's trying to swing out and wide the nade, forcing that decision out of him. And everybody falls just from that. The back to back thrifties on either side of things. Aspas has been performing. Impactan las olas, controlan el viento y buscan victorias que se escuche para el of Sunday, 100 Thieves taking on Leviathan. 100 Thieves looking to right the wrongs from... After the nerfs, a lot of teams are playing that. And honestly, I expect Ospos to still be playing Jet on Haven. I feel like Bind is going to be one of those maps where both teams are just trying to have that confidence boost morale, kind of play the mental game against the other team where they're going to be super aggressive. And I don't know, I'm looking towards 100 Thieves for this one to make sure that they don't fall into the same patterns of just defaulting over and over again, sure. even running into the same obstacle from time to time. On Haven, I'm really curious to see if 100 Thieves sticks to this KO idea, that comp they debuted mm -hmm. last week. I'm wondering if that is their read or if they're going to go into something different. This is a team that I'm actually going to be pretty surprised if they make significant comp changes. You could play Asuna onto the Neon. In fact, I'd love to see it. He was great on it back on Fracture way back in the day on 100 Thieves. But something tells me that this is going to be one of those matches for both teams where we're getting a lot of older comps. Bind is going to be fun, right? Because this is on 100 Thieves playground. And uh, I mean, that's that's what they... I still think this is the best comp yeah. on the map. I don't yeah, think what there's they were a reason to change. For all I've been chilling for Neon, I don't think she's really worth Worth running on this. Omen? Omen uh, I'm not fully. I, the, the Omen's very cool, but in terms of optimal, I wouldn't. Kyle's yeah, always great on Brim, so I mean, that's. I think that's fine. I, I think Ospos is literally going to play Raze or Jet on every map in, in the pool. Yeah. I mean, he's just so damn good at both those stages. <laughs> Until the team makes him play something else, right? Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. All right, well, this is it. Last match of Sunday, Riot Games Arena. Let's make some noise as we get ready for this match. of send it over to your professional yappers. It's Bren and Sideshow. Playoffs mostly, especially on this map. I mean, the Molly missing there. They get one chance at that one. Doesn't shove King off the angle, but he's gonna at least give them respect. Looking their way up. A lot of info gathered, especially with Aspas picking off Bang. That's an important one. It's huge. It just relieves all of that pressure over towards A. Lev, if they want to, can start making the rotate. Does he have the top seas? Is very good. Asuna's gonna be ahead of most of this now as well. That util sails into the back line. Bomb being removed, just couldn't stand his ground against it. That's no overzealous man, but he's got the rest of the team with him. Potentially, to their own dismay, there's a 2v2 now kicking off. Lev versus 100 Thieves, and Lev not messing around here with the timing. They want to try and take this one fast and loose. That's fast. It's left alone to do the most. Two shots to the body, all it takes. Two left in the chamber, left to the 1v1. Him versus EU. Comes down to the wire. The TU. Those look very drilled. Both orbs being used over here and both running out of fuel. So an open avenue for 100 Thieves to try to exploit, but three players on B. What are you till Dota ever going to be holding on to at least to stop them? I think Aspas has the nade in his hand and there it is. Sails right over, locked it into the corner. Forced them back and around and away, but Bustio will be dropped. Same with Asana to two-piece. Alt earn, Rocket still ready and waiting. Fires and lands. Three in a round for Aspas himself. This guy's looking demonic. And bang, can only do so much. Tucked away into a tight I corner of only 10 left. seconds. Running away, EU. Down to that 1v1 once more. Surely can't do it again. Forced to stick the plan. Now it's the only possible. Wink gone! Steps it forwards. Calm. 
shuts him. <laughs> He's shrugging over there. They can't see it. He disagrees. They're going to be walking themselves over towards Lev here. Nice little double stack. Wall goes down. He wants to take a face as well. That's right through the wall. How did we get a second? Definitely did the damage. Just holds Spike the trigger there. That was patience being played. Bang. He's returned to the shot to the brain. Bustio trying to take that timing straight past the smoke. We'll get punished in the end. And so the options are not very limited onto this half by of 100 thieves. Bang is going to try and work things here. If he can do a little bit of damage to the economy, it would have here and now. Yeah, and here and now, level stacking, at least with three players, looking to try and fight and contest this one. Slight gap into the smoke. Messino can play inside. That one on top of the truck. Can't be playing from that position, at least, Messino. And Tex, they've got their watchful eyes onto this one. Nade rebounding over the top. You're still a minute on the clock, but 100 Thieves. Issue has been forced. Doubled up now into Lamps, praying that somebody will just wade into them, but... Doesn't look likely. There's a lot of discipline on display right now from Leviathan. And look how good the plant denial is from Lev. They're never allowing 100 Thieves to just Let get it spike. down in the first wave. Mazzino dominating Shower's control now too. It's very tough for 100 Thieves to turn it. They're going to need the same level of ridiculous left. individualism that we just saw from Lev. I got the spike. By tap. Sees the angle of fight to be taken. Aspas winning is out. It's an individualistic moment. Right through the smoke, Mazzino seeking them out. I have stuff going on. But they've rebounded. And they're playing really well right now. And it's looking better. Aspas looking to punish. Bang. Just holding that one for the rest of his team. But some sort of read gave it away. He's room to offload that ult. Even utilizing it against the weaker buy of 100 Thieves. Only going to be stopping them in their tracks, surely. 100 Thieves, looking at this respect past it, but... It's only player. Asana in. Yeah, Asana. It's a solo, isolated. One player to make something happen already with a shot hit. Zeno taken out, and now just finding the timing out throughout, but that should be combed and called. He's going to be aware of the fact that he's flanking. Full attention over towards Octagon for now. Again, a lot's going to be asked once more of these 100 Thieves players. Not with the guns for the job. Still, Aspas will not be denied. Running a, just a mockery man in this round. Aspas has been performing. He's, he's been there the whole time. The big wins that they got during stage one against Crew, against G2, those were powered by Aspas dropping nukes on their opponent. Yeah. With a Vandal and full armor. He's torn through them so far. 14 kills across 14 rounds. With a 3k and a 4k under his belt. Top of the board. Looking to cement the lead. Cross air placement. Woman is perfect! And the micro adjustment. Absolutely sublime. His aim is so strong. There might be more where that came from as well. The bait and switch. You can see King making sure that he plays his star player directly into the fray. And a fight taken and one out once more. Already the front sight is going to be there. So now a play does need to be made. Bustio might have been considering. He's trying to swing out and wide the nade, forcing that decision out of him. And everybody falls just from that. The back to. High low, though, that 100 Thieves have got cooking. This could be brutal. Lev potentially walking right into the blender. Smoke's being held by Mazzino. They drop down. There's a lot of noise being made here. Reclaim with the molly yet. Mosh pit. Good, Nade. good spot from Aspas. Aspas as well. Close. Cutting it up. Aspas needs to do a lot here. And he will do just that. What a read. I mean, that's exactly predicting that 100 Thieves are going to go for that reclear strategy. You saw Aspas, as soon as the first piece of util was thrown out, he tucks himself in that corner. A hard ask for 100 Thieves. Bustio picking up the op over towards A. But his B site is looking a little weak. Change hands a bit. It's going to be a showstopper. One to match. It goes even. An exchange of it, at least without weaponry. Bang. It's going to be blinded up. Just cannot tuck himself up into that corner. No survival in sight now. Utah's going to flood forwards. 100 thieves. They realize it. Oh, yeah, advantage again. A lot going to be asked. Where's the rifle for Bustio? His economy was flourishing, but he didn't feel like he could commit to buying a Phantom or Vandal for him as well, so he's on the retake with the op. Oh, yeah. Monster right. Potentially on looking dire here. It's a thrash. Used to clear it out. The shot misses. Teammate's got his back. Out and through here. Nightfall has to be committed, and you have to make a go of things here. Sees only dodged by the one player. Got to try and at least get yourself into the site. King, it's being a nuisance. Time ticking away. Mazzino just holding the slightest of off angles. 
baiting them in, just trying to draw them all out. Cryo, he's already doing quite a lot here, but he just cannot do it all. Map one, all sealed up here for left. 100 Thieves map pick a bind going their way early on in this series. That's a great opening from Leviathan there, finding huge individual performances. Of course, it's Aspas up towards the top. Look like an absolute nightmare for 100 Thieves to yeah. deal with. And this old, reliable map of Bind, especially on the pistol, where it looks like he's going walkabouts down mid. I thought they were going to feign like they were taking that A lobby control of a quick little fault line across the board, but just making sure they face it together. Break the turret nice and early. Yeah, and that puts a lot of fear in 100 Thieves that there could be somebody deep down. They do a decent job of clearing it fairly quickly. And it looks like they want to pivot into a B hit. Yeah, all walking up. Two players to meet them. It's going to be King and Aspas. Up through the back here, and they're just walking right into his crosshair. Placement's there. Bit of a glide as well. Disengage, which that, I mean, just decides to take the fight straight up. Wants to try and at least stop them before they can even get the plant down, and he's done just that. EU. Left alone here. Right click, doing a bit of damage, but position's known. Picks up the upgrade. Four bullets, though. Not a lot to work with, and tap tap goes the ghost. Tex finally. The ultimate, there aren't really huge ults that you use to like get deep onto a site. Com faking, <laughs> baiting somebody into punishing him by tapping that ult orb and then getting the punish on bang. Nice play. And he's drawn the other two players of his team in to defend the A site. Yeah. Looking good here, Lev, in terms of their defensive protocols and rotates. Now, I think I think 100 Thieves are a little behind the meta trying to run Sova and the KO on this map. Mm hmm. But I think that comes back to a wider discussion with 100 Thieves. If you wanted to run an Eon, it probably wouldn't be Cryo. And then it means you have to shuffle around all of the roles. Do you want Cryo to play smokes? Oh, no if so, what's Bang playing? You're probably not going to play the Neon with the double smokes. It's good damage done to Tex here, but okay. Pistol of the Realm with the classics and the right clicks. Shouldn't be too much danger in for this round. Definitely doing a lot of damage there towards the end. I've been impressed with what I've seen so far. Here they come on the... And a lot bonus of variation. Round. Yeah, this is the bonus round strategy. They're going for that. A crunch is straight through them all. Bang. Cuts it up onto the tight angle here, but Mizzino follows through in the end. It's just great. These ideas. Many layers to it as well. Cooked up especially for the bonus round. What a time to do it. The Neon just pairs so perfectly with the double initiator because you're able to follow up on that utility instantly. It doesn't matter how far the distance is. I got the spike. Bang is pressured super heavily by that aftershock. Recon out as well. Stun. And then you've got Aspas barreling towards you. Bustio left to pick up the pieces in a 1v3. Good luck to him. Have to be a hell of a clutch. Slight bit of noise made. It's going to be spotted by the camp. Wow, my eyes are dull. One problem removed. Got 40 seconds to work with. Time going to start to get whittled down. Not making it easy for him, are they? 30 seconds left. Now he's found a little bit of an opportunity if he wanted to take this over towards A. Fault lines up though. Force him off the plant. Shot dart, not sure where that one's going. Maybe a bit of a distraction play, but discipline. Reign supreme. Jet is known for his movement of stringing things together. That's a difficult one though. Surely doesn't get out alive. Mazzino! Cover and fire! And an auto loaded EU! A second triple kill back to back from Messino. Got one on the bonus round and then cleans up for Aspas. And it's just quick oh. shutdown. And I run. That's very, I mean, Com, when I think of this guy, I think of him as a team player, system player. And Lev were looking shaky in that aspect. Most of this year, you know, when we were attributing a lot of the wins to this guy that we're watching, Aspas. Still with the outlaw in his hands. He's against the half armor, so he's still going to be cleaning up. Of course, he is still. Tucked to the corner here, has to use the wall. A bit of bullets fired over the shoulder, just to support. But now that you're seeing the system come together, pieces falling into place for Olivia Tan, it allows players like Com to really shine. Yeah, he hasn't had the most moments today, but I think certainly other players on the team like Mazzino and King are finding their spots. Yeah, for sure. And I would imagine it's only a matter of time until we see big, big stuff from Com coming back if the Lev system is working. Bustio is really trying to find these timings around the rest of the map. And 100 Thieves have got a plan here. There's yeah. that timing. 100 Thieves trying to find through the smoke. 
worth a risk being taken in a round like this. They were down a player, down weaponry. A lot going to be asked to cry, though, in this spot. And with this, Util has been dodged and avoided, but to jump through, everybody not able to really get a clean shot at any of the Leviathan. Well, here's a set play. Hunter's Fury to try and set this one up as well as that. The dart completely outlined EU's position. Hello. Bang with a cancel. Whoa, <laughs> they wanted to commit it. They were baiting him in there as well. Texan Com definitely knew he was behind. They're just trying not to give it away and then 180 flick onto him if he commits. Placing swarm grenade. Play it down though, in terms of this scenario. Bustio committing that one. Locked down into the corner. Taking a tremendous amount of damage. And Anna Swarm just cutting him up. Place down at the feet. And that's fast disrespect being shown. Sky is going to pay for it with his life, but he would have been detained anyway. Makes a go of things here. Trip's still up and active. No one's really play up with it. And Bustio's just wandering around aimlessly. They feel like they have to make a play. The plant hasn't even been committed. And bang, it finally commits. In through the back here. Play has been made. Stepping up to the challenge. Paranoia at least buys them a little bit of that space here. But still, they, they don't man, know where King down, is. Man. They don't know where King is. Reposition, looking in the wrong place. And wrong time. Leave it to Cryo now. 1v2. At least finally the plant online for them. But Lev can just take their sweet time with this one, make sure that they can try and double up. Please play this one closely together. King's gonna be blocked off from them. Still has the util in his back pocket. Holding and posturing, I think, for that paranoia as well. He's gonna be potentially using it. Finally comes through. Now a bit of time. Working against them potentially with the dart. It goes amiss, but finally, at least with the tag, cryo pre aim. It is there. Still there. And King fast up onto the line of side angle. What a round from King. Omen ultimate scattered the brains of 100 Ts. They had no idea where. His last pass has to work with. He's just waiting, hoping. Fingers crossed that somebody's going to be walking right into it. Shot dad. Ice cold. Doesn't budge. Doesn't move an inch. His reflexes are supernatural. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I mean, we can see where they're about to peak. He can't. Has to be reactions. Calm now. Hearing it. Right. Roar and stampede. Plenty of players now looking to make their mark over towards this side here. Touch to the corner. To Dart. Pushed off. Shaq Dart doing good damage. Still with a paranoia. Sweep it through. But Com just was blinded up or something. Not too sure. Mazzino can't stand it. He's not into the anchoring position. Anchor. It's Aspas here with the Operator in his hands. Now this retake to be made that much more difficult than the 100 Thieves. Into the post plant. One of the first times they've really been set up for that success. Finally, it's round Ooh. 10. Before they get into a good position, Cryo still falls a 3v3. It's magnetic. Texas spotted it. There's no way they're crumbling like this. As, as and at least they're no way, man. I was holding my breath for the moment. Six in the map to map interviews was talking about being in a slump and just wanting to see some good valorant yeah he's very candid he is and i appreciate that i really do i love the honesty but it still makes me worried for 100 thieves because their record is three and four i mean sorry well, three, and three, three and three but, but looking like it could go three and four if leviathan closed this one. And whether or not it happens here on Haven, again, just coming to back to what Zig said, you need to see some better Valorant being played. 100 Thieves trying to go fast and loose into this one here, but there's a stack of players all ready and waiting. Odin spam away, comp, no connections. No real damage done here, but how do you deal with these players here? Dart, it's gonna be broken. Paranoia, bit of a team flash, but reveals them all, and finally, allows a time to strike for Tex, bang! He's with the Guardian. There's some precision there, but the Util out in his hands. Caught unaware. Be pretty impeccable from 100 Thieves. Lev grouping up, taking a long control very easily here. Never say never, but begins with a pistol round with Cryo falling early. Less likely. Texas the one as well, taking that contact just makes it feel like it's not even potentially leaning, eh? Exactly. Must just a cypher player that's spotted. Footstep heard. Asner out wide, just trying to throw that util to set up the play. Uh, and it's just a little bit too obvious, I think. Cooked up, timing misfired there from 100 Thieves, just trying to offset that disadvantage. And again, an open plan here for Leviathan. Almost unlosable into the post plan. 2v5. Only with classics. They still do have Flash Recon to play with, but it would have to catch on everyone for there to be a chance. Come on, come on. 
Mistakes need to be made here by the left players. Paranoia is good, at least spotting and isolating out these players. Still Mazzino is quick with it. Fast round the corner and straight through the wall. Almost impossible for 100 Thieves. But at least I want to see something more from them. More like that retake that we saw over towards C. Just some better Valorant being played. Yeah, show us that something's been cooking. I mean, it would be nice to see them win a map after coming back from Shanghai. Yet to see that. But it doesn't look like it's going to be on the cards today. I'm going to high ground roll in Funded. It's a hard committal boost here. Tries to step himself in front of it and away. But it's returned straight back. Aspas trying to hunt him out. In through the back of the side. Flashes Dorsh Aspas. This guy. He can't be stopped. The rest of his team alongside him. It's brutal to watch. Ripping straight through him. A hundred of these dominated. Worked in a neutral. A 2-0 victory for Libyatar. And as I said earlier, I think that's got to put so much confidence back into the left side, the left fans, the community in general over in Americas. The record going up to six and one. One of the teams fighting for the top spots as we head towards playoffs. Yeah. And things just looking so coordinated on defense and on the attack side. Rounds like that, closing things out really nicely. And anybody who was wondering, could Aspas pick up the Neon? Well, I think, take a look at that map. 19 I mean, and 10, I'm top of the scoreboard on both maps today. I'm pretty sure that was a narrative that we were having like in 2021 or something. Sure. I don't know. I mean, it, it feels like this guy can play anything and he's willing to prove it on the big stage time and time again. But today, this team, now they were more on the sum of their parts. And I think that's one thing that we were looking for from this squad. Turn of the loop, perhaps for them. Deeper and deeper into stage two, they're top of the standings. Looking to keep that spot. And I think if they hadn't rebounded immediately coming off from Shanghai, the vibes in the team would have been at a low, but this is such 